Hello, this is the Daily Forex Report for December 16th. We're looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair first. This pair moved higher, but then uh, started the, the session by moving higher, but then moved lower, closed almost on its lows. Overall, this pair is moving sideways. Did create an inside bar as well. We are looking for this pair to potentially move as high as 84.83, possibly as low as 83.23. Look for some resistance around 84.50 and look for some support around 83.50. Okay, now the US, the Euro USD, this pair closed higher. Uh, we are looking for this pair to continue overall moving sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 133.44, possibly as low as 131.03. Look for some resistance around 133.20 and look for some support on this one at 131.63. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair uh, moved to the upside, did create an inside bar. Uh, this pair overall long term moving sideways, look for it to potentially hit some resistance at the 1.5675 mark, possibly moving lower and hitting some support around 155.25. Now the US Swiss, this particular pair surged higher during the first uh, little bit of the session, ran into previous areas of support, which was now resistance, move lower, close lower. Overall, does have a slight bias to the downside. Look for it to potentially go as high on a reversal up to 0 0.9788, possibly moving down to 0 0.9537, hitting resistance to the upside around 197.50, and hitting support around 0 0.9550. Okay, now as far as news announcements, no significant news announcements being released uh, for tomorrow's uh, session. We do have some potential trades that we're looking at. We have some inside bar trades uh, from this previous session in the U.S. Japanese yen pair. Let's take a look at that. To the upside, good ways from the market, current market anyway. Uh, to the upside, we have potential uh, for this pair to come up to around this area, be roughly a move of about 68 pips or so to the upside. To the downside, we have a move basically down, which would be about a 50 pip move here, and is a little bit closer to the market. So uh, that's just something to keep an eye on. So either either direction on those. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair created an inside bar as well. We're good ways from uh, the high here, so I doubt the high is going to be broken during this next session. However, the low has the potential to. If we have another day like this to the downside, it absolutely could hit that. And we need to be uh, basically looking for it to move down. We got a couple of points of support and resistance here to the downside. Got about a 25 pip move that I'd feel comfortable looking to grab. So definitely uh, look for a 25 pip move on that one. To the upside, if for some reason it, it gets that high, not sure that it will, but we have areas of previous support here, previous resistance. I could definitely see it going through that area fairly quick. There we go. Uh, so to the upside, we, we would have an opportunity to grab about 62 pips. The only problem with that is it would have to move 142 pips just to get there. So uh, going to the upside, I don't necessarily look for that one to actually be triggered. Now, uh, in the U.S. Swiss, we have a uh, what I like to call a window, window of opportunity trade. We have this strong move to the upside that occurred. You can see we ran into previous support here, which became resistance. Now if we move to the upside, we do have an, an opportunity for basically things to move up to about this area before we hit an area of resistance again. So we really have a window there of opportunity to take advantage of. Uh, so that's what we would look to do on a break to the upside, grabbing about 60 pips, 70 pips or so. Uh, it does have to move a decent amount, about 92 for that to occur. Not sure if we're going to get that considering the strong move to the downside. Now if we back out a little ways, get another kind of view of this uh, just to kind of see what had happened previously. You can see that 
it has the price has gone through that area more than once um, all the way through it within one session so I, I if we move that high we could definitely see it if we have another strong day um, but we'd have to move to the upside for that to occur and as you can see we have hit uh, a previous area of support at this point so just have to wait and see will it move down or will it move up not sure but these windows of opportunity that uh, do occur due to support and resistance are great trades to take um, and the nice thing about these uh, typically they have a, a little bit to prove themselves which is what you want you want the market to have to prove itself before it actually triggers a trade that way you're not whipsawed in and out of trades well that about wraps us up for today until next time this is Jason Fielder good trading